Hi guys, today we'll be learning about work done for reversible isothermal process in thermodynamics. So let's start with the basic piston cylinder assembly. Here initially the piston is at position I and from here it is compressed to a position F by a block of mass M. The external pressure P E X T is applied by this block and it sinks the piston down to a depth H. The gas is filled inside the piston, inside the cylinder sorry at pressure P I N T and the cross section area of the cylinder is A. Okay. Now we move on to find the work done for the piston cylinder assembly. The work done in any general case is given by force that is F into displacement S. Here this displacement is specifically in the direction of the force. So for this piston cylinder assembly the force is the nothing but the weight of the block so we can say that force is mg and the displacement in the direction of this force is the depth h to which the piston sinks down. Now if I divide this thing by a and I multiply this by a then mathematically there is no change but uh, if we look at it from a different perspective then this former thing it is nothing but uh, the force upon area which is the pressure so it gives the pressure P E X T which is exerted by this block of mass M over this piston. In the second quantity it is uh, H into A, H into A area of cross section. This is nothing but the volume which is displaced by the piston as it sinks down from position I to position F. So we can say that the work done is given by P E X T into V, dis uh, v displaced into the volume displaced. Okay. Therefore, the work done by the piston is integral of minus pxt into dv, where dv is the change in volume. Now, to justify this negative sign, we would go back to the piston cylinder assembly. Here, we are considering the compression case, so the final volume will be this much vf, and the initial volume was this whole thing vi. It is quite clear from the diagram that v final is less than v initial. So this means uh, that dv which is the change in volume and which is given by v final minus v initial it would be a negative quantity. So in this formula dv is negative and when we multiply a negative thing with a negative sign it means that this whole thing would in total be positive. So we can say that the work done in thermodynamics for the case of compression is always positive okay like we have uh, seen over here and work done in the thermodynamics for the case of expansion is negative now how does this happen uh, we'll go back to the piston cylinder assembly here again if the case was of expansion then initially the piston must be over here this should be initial position and finally it should reach over here so this would mean that this would be the uh, initial volume of the piston and this whole thing would be the final volume of the piston. So in that case V final would be greater than V initial and the uh, change in volume dV would be a positive quantity. So in this formula uh, dV would be positive and if we multiply uh, the positive thing with a negative sign uh, then the whole thing in total would become negative. The work done by a piston for expansion would be negative and that's what we wanted. So this formula is justified for both the cases for expansion as well as compression. Now we move on to the reversible isothermal process. Here a similar piston cylind uh, cylinder assembly is kept but the mass is added. The mass that we add over here are in the form of infinitely small grains okay? and the mass of each particle is dm such that dm tends to zero. It's infinitely small mass. You can assume that dm is uh, similar to a grain of salt. You know, that, that small. That way, each time you add a single grain of salt over uh, the piston, the piston or uh, the pressure of the gas increases by a amount dp. And dp would also tends to zero. Also, the piston sinks down by a distance dh. Let's say that the piston has sinked down by this much amount. I'm exaggerating the view for better understanding. 
but this distance to which the piston sinks down is very small let's call this distance dh so dh would be very small now when the piston is sinking down and when the uh, when it has come to the new equilibrium position at dh depth the pressure in gas uh, the pressure of the gas inside the cylinder and the pressure due to all the grains above the piston would be equal okay the pressure inside the cylinder and the pressure due, uh, due to the external pressure would be equal and we we'll call this pressure p also the equilibrium is established instantaneously is uh, this means that each time we add a grain of salt over the piston the change in pressure dp is very less so the piston moves down and quickly regains the equilibrium the third point is each step is reversible this means that if the if we start moving the if we start removing the sand from the piston uh, particle by particle then the piston will start moving upwards so that way we can say that this process is that's why the process is reversible because you know it can go in the reverse direction so now as we add the particle grain by grain each time we add a new grain the piston shifts down by ds distance till it would reach the final point f okay and this final point of completion would occur after infinite steps and uh, it would take infinite time because uh, size of the grain is infinitely small and uh, therefore when the final point is reached when the um, piston has reached the point f then the uh, there uh, would be a pile of a uh, heap of uh, sand over the piston and the mass of this heap would be complete m so we can say that the work done in this process is minus integral v1 uh, v initial to v final and uh, p external as i have shown you here that p external is equals to p so p external into the change in volume dv now we move on to the ideal gas equation here uh, ideal gas equation is pv equals to nrt where p is the pressure v is the volume n is the number of moles of gas trapped inside the cylinder and its constant r is the universal gas constant uh, t is the temperature since we are talking about the isothermal process so temperature will also be constant so on a whole this whole thing on the uh, right side is nothing but a constant and i'll denote it by c so we can say that the product of pressure in volume uh, is a constant quantity for a particular piston cylinder assembly and uh, if we talk about the pressure and volume at two different states like at state 1 the product will be p1 v1 and at state 2 the product would be p2 v2 so the pressure volume product at these two states will be same so we can say the work done is given by from here it is given by minus integral v initial to v final p dot dv from this ideal gas equation i am removing p from the left side and i am putting it in the denominator of the right side so we can write p is equals to nrt by v in the work done i can replace the value of p by nrt by v so this becomes integral v initial to v final nrt by v into dv as i have told you earlier this nrt thing is a constant so we can uh, take it out of the integral so this becomes minus nrt integral v initial to v final dv upon v this can be written as minus nrt the integral of uh, dv upon v is natural log or ln v this can be written as ln v limits from v initial to v final now this is equals to minus nrt ln v final minus ln v initial so the work done becomes minus nrt ln v final upon v initial thank you for watching